In this video, we're gonna make our own fan regulator that works over internet via Blink and also with the manual regulator switch along with its real-time feedback on the Blink application. And not only that, if the internet is not working or maybe your internet is down, you can still control the speed of the fan with the manual regulator switch without internet. So let's see how to make it. Now those who have already watched my previous video must be knowing that I successfully made my own fan regulator using the ESP32 board by reverse engineering a 4 speed control fan regulator. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch it out otherwise you won't be able to understand the circuit part used in this project. So do watch it out, the link is in the description. Okay, so now assuming that everyone watching this video already know how a fan regulator works and how to make our own fan regulator using the ESP32 board. Now let's first start with getting the live feedback from the regulator switch. So here I'll be using this 4 speed control fan switch which I de-shoulder from the regulator circuit. And after that I'll connect all of its terminal with ESP32 board in this manner. So here is the complete circuit diagram of all the components connected with the ESP32 board. So that's all about the hardware. Now let's just jump onto the laptop and see the coding part. So this is the code used for this project. So first of all, you need to have a Blink library already installed on your system, uh, which you can get it by clicking on this link, which is attached in the code itself. After that, these are the pins uh, defined for the fan regulator. And these are the pins defined for the relays attached to the ESP32 board. After that, the by default mode uh, of this project is with internet, okay? You'll get the detailed idea about this mode later in this video. After that, here you have to provide the authentication token which must be sent to your registered email ID as soon as you create your uh, Blink project, okay? Just copy that and paste it here. Great. After that, you need to provide the set name and password of your router, okay? So now let's jump onto the setup part. So one important thing to discuss in the setup part is this line, okay? So here we have defined one timer which will call the function called check blink every three seconds. Now let's see what's inside the check blink function, okay? So here's the check blink function. Now check blink function will check whether this project is connected with the blink application or not. So ultimately it will check whether it is connected to internet or not, okay? So if it is connected, then it will uh, go inside the true and the mode will become zero. Now here zero mode is for with internet mode. And if a project is not connected to the server, it will return false and it will change its mode to one, okay? So basically, if it is internet, it will change the mode to zero. And if it don't have internet, it will change its mode to one. That's what uh, we are doing inside the blink, check blink function, okay? Now why it is important, just imagine your uh, project is running in without internet mode, okay? So it don't have internet. And as soon as you turn on the router, how the project will come to know that, hey, this router is turned on, internet is back, let's just connect it to it, okay? So with this function, every three seconds, it will check for the connectivity, okay? So if you turn off the router, after three seconds, it will automatically get connected to the router and switch itself to with internet mode so that's the benefit of this timer after that moving into the loop side so here if I ESP board is not connected to the Wi-Fi it will just print not connected and if it is connected it will just print connected and it will run the blink function okay this means that only when the project is connected to internet run the blink function otherwise don't run it after that here we have to initialize the timer by using the timer.run function that's pretty simple and here is the main switching point if the mode is zero, that means with internet, it will just call the with internet function. Else, that means if the mode is other than zero, that means one, it will just call without internet function. So these two functions are called. Now let's just see what's inside that function. First of all, we'll see the function called without internet, okay? Okay, so here is the function called without internet. Now let's just jump inside that function. So first of all, here, here we are checking for the switch. Now this switch is nothing but the fan regulator switch. If the switch one is low, that means it is speed one, okay? So it will ultimately call the speed one function. And inside the speed one function, we have the relays defined, okay? Where, which relay to turn on and which relay to turn off. That's defined in speed one, speed two, up to speed four, okay? So that's pretty simple, okay? So whenever the switch one is low, we have to call the speed one function and it will print speed one inside the serial monitor. Pretty simple. Now one question arises is, what is this speed one flag about? Now if I remove this much of line, let's see what happens, okay? So whenever the uh, fan regulator is at speed one, this condition will be satisfied and speed one function will be called. So it will be continuously inside this uh, if condition or this loop only. And with this, uh, a constant switching of the relays will happen inside this function. So what's the solution for this? The solution is we just need to satisfy this if condition only once whenever the switch is at position one. And for that, I have used this flag called speed one flag. So initially all the flags are at position one, okay? Now let's see what happens. 
So as soon as we switch the uh, fan regulator switch at position one, this will be satisfied. And initially the speed one flag is one, that means this will also get satisfied. It will go inside this function, it will call the speed one function, it will switch the relays to speed one position. And after that, as you can see, the speed one flag is assigned the value zero. So for the second time, when it go inside this loop, <laughs> this condition won't get satisfied because of the speed one flag. And for that reason, I use the speed one, speed two up to speed four flag just to make sure that these conditions are satisfied only once. Okay. And rest of the things are pretty same. And if the switch two is at position low, call the speed two function. If the switch two is low and switch three is also low, call the speed three function. And if the switch four is low, call the speed four function. So this is what is going inside the without internet connection. So according to the position of the fan regulator, the particular relays will be turned on. Pretty simple. Now let's see what happens in the with internet function. So here is the with internet function. So the first line is same as the without internet. If switch one is low and if speed one flag is high, then only go inside this function. Call the speed one function as soon as the switch is at uh, position one. And here one more line is added called blink.virtual right now. This line is just to send the feedback to the blink application. Okay. So as soon as uh, we call the speed one function, this line of code will send one to the virtual pin v0 of blink application so with this we are not only able to turn the fan speed at uh, speed one but you'll also able to get the real-time feedback inside the blink application okay so that's the only difference in with internet and without internet mode this one line is added and now what about controlling the appliances with the blink application well for that we are using the function called blink right v0 okay so according to the data received from the virtual pin v0 we'll be calling the particular speed okay like speed 2 speed 3 etc so that's all about the with and without internet code for controlling the fan speed i hope you got to know about how the code is working and how the things are going inside that hardware okay make sure to hit the like button if you if you got to know about this coding and if you have any doubt do let me know in the comments so now let's just select the right board and port and hit the upload button so now i'll insert the esp32 board inside the pcb part of the circuit and let's see this project in action So here as you can see I'm able to control the speed of the fan using blink application and also using that physical fan control switch along with its feedback on the blink application. Now let me just turn off the router. Now the project must have switched to without internet mode. Now let's test this project in manual mode. Okay, so I'm able to control the fan using this fan regulator switch like we regularly do in our day to day life. So with this, now you can make a complete home automation project along with the fan dimming that works with and without internet. So here in this project, I haven't made the custom PCB, hence the size is a little bit bigger, but I'm sure if I make a custom PCB for this project, its size will become way more smaller. So what do you guys think? Should we try making a custom PCB for making the size of this project smaller? And should we make a one PCB project for controlling appliances and also controlling the speed of the fan that works with and without internet? Let me know your suggestions in the comments of the video. That's it about this video. Just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.